Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the best graphic settings to run Spider-Man Remastered, the PC version. I will be showing you the best settings to get high FPS, pretty smooth gameplay without any lag. So let's go. Go to settings and uh, here you'll see the display and graphic settings. Click on it. The first one is display. VSync. Remember, do not turn on VSync. This will cap your FPS. So make sure you turn this off, right? and uh, coming down to upscaling so upscale method is the resolution scaling this will reduce the rendered resolution of the game there will be performance improvement all right there are two under this dlss and amd fsr all right dlss is for nvidia graphics cards you have nvidia graphics card then go for dlss and if you have a amd graphics card go for this amd fsr 2.0 all right so this will automatically give smooth gameplay by reducing the rendered resolution a little bit to be honest you'll not see much of a difference but yes you will get smooth gameplay all right so going to graphics preset is custom do not use preset if you want to use manual settings do not use preset first one is texture texture quality the most important aspect when it comes to graphic settings it must be high or medium in case you have a uh, 10 series card like 1060 or 1070 1070 i don't think you'll have to go to medium 1060 i think yes if you have a 20 series card you can definitely use high all right in case you, uh, there is lag in very high which is the maximum setting you can use high and texture filtering anisotropic i'm using the maximum 116x you can tweak it down to 8x or 4x in case there is fps drop try using 8 in case you have a 10 series card and shadow quality very high no, that's a bad idea. In case you have uh, 10 series, go for medium, definitely medium. Uh, shadow and reflection, you have to compromise, unfortunately. In case you have a 10 series card, go for medium. 20 series, you can go for high. Ambient occlusion again, use SSAO, which is medium, and turn it off. You still face FPS drops, all right? The maximum is this one, HBAO plus, okay? You can use that. Screen space reflections. If you see in the background there is change if i turn this off it doesn't look so smooth you can see the wall detail here coming down to ray tracing this will work only if you have a rtx card right rtx 20 series or 30 series ray traced reflections on and here there are two more options reflection resolution and geometry detail all right both consume a lot so there is only two under uh, reflection resolution which is very high and high in case you're using ray tracing Make sure you select high if you have a uh, 20 series card 10 series obviously doesn't have ray tracing there is no 10 series card with uh, ray tracing it's 20 or 30 series all right so geometry detail again there's just two if you see the reflection on the wall it's just gone when you select high it's nothing here there is no ref reflection at all absolutely but when you turn it on to very high you should see the lights on the wall it makes huge difference all right for some reason it's just gone but in case you have this selected at very high you should see the reflections of the wall all right that's how ray tracing works the most important aspect which is which gives some really good realistic reflections and coming down to geometry level of detail very high again turn it down to high if you have a 20 series card 10 series card go down to medium traffic density medium medium and low Again, crowd density, 10 series card, low. Medium for 20 series and high for 30 series in case you have a 30 series. Hair quality, this again consumes a lot. So make sure you use low or medium. And weather particle quality, this again makes a huge difference. Go for low or medium. All right. Low, I don't think it would be necessary. But in case there is still FPS drop, even if you have this in medium then go for low otherwise you should be able to run in medium or high depth of field high these things are fine um high or medium should be fine bloom again turn it off in case there is fps drop bloom again consumes a lot not much but yes lens flares chromatic aberration vignette all these are similar okay motion blur strength field of view film grain strength you can adjust these accordingly camera effects not much to play with so these are the best settings guys for 10 series and uh, 20 series. Most important things are texture quality, shadow and ray tracing. So that's all about this video guys. Hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to turn on the notification. 
Thank you so much for watching Gamers App Out.